Hey everyone, I have some projects to share with you guys from Miss Garden Grove One's Etsy shop. And this is the discount code to get 10% off. So you enter GDT2014 at your checkout and you get 10% off your entire order. So go ahead and take advantage of that and I'll leave the links for this um, code down below. And also if you haven't um, visited Miss Garden Grove One's Etsy shop before, it's amazing and she carries gorgeous, gorgeous products and you should definitely go check it out. So I'll leave all the links down below to her shop and her social media. So all that will be on the bottom. So let me show you guys the um, products that I use first. So this one is some trim. It's blue and in the center it has some silver. So that's the blue one. And then there's the pink one. Okay, some of that. And then I use this trim right here. And it kind of has like a silver bluish kind of tone to it. Really, really pretty. And then this is the pink one. This pink trim that has pearls in every other flower. It's a baby pink color and then I use the same trim in white. And then I use some of this. This is super, super pretty. So I cut this up and then it has also these um, beautiful little rhinestones everywhere. <clears throat> Then I use the same one, the same style in blue and also in pink. And then I took this trim and this is what the entire trim looks like. Super pretty and this will be perfect for like dress forms if you alter dress form and use this for the um, skirt. I think that'll be super cute. So what I did for this trim was I took the rosettes here and I just cut these out separately and I used the rosettes like that. But you can use the entire trim as it is without cutting it up. Then I used some of this pink trim right here and some in white. And then I also took this trim and let me open this up and show you guys what it looks like. It looks like this, but I took uh, my scissors and I cut these out. These kind of look like cute little like pink cherries or something. They're super, super cute. And then I also took, um, used some of these paper flowers here. These are two-tone. And then I also used one of these pink bows and I used the white one, the smaller white one. And then I also used some of these um, flowers here and a baby pink color and then this white one and then I also use the other one of this piece that has the heart and the angel wings and I also use a bit more of the embellishments that came with the kit but I used them all up and I don't have any extras to show you guys so let me just move all this out of the way so this is the first project that I altered it's basically a frame that I bought from Ross and it had um, the stand in the back where, you know the picture frame stands up but I took that piece off and I just um, replaced it with this um, chipboard here so I can hang this up on my wall and so this is what it looks like over here I have a bunch of my handmade flowers and then let me see well first of all I painted this entire thing white and then I took um, some paint in like a turquoise color and a baby pink color and I just rubbed it on the sides here you can kind of see it underneath the trim. And then I took some stencils. Um, let me see, these um, polka dot looking stencil right here. Um, that one I got from Walmart. And then this one here, the script stencil is from Saw Crafters. And then, so yeah, those are the two stencils that I used. And then I took some paint and I splattered it on top of the stencils. And you can kind of see it everywhere or in certain areas. And then it's kind of hard to see some of the products that I used from um, Miss Garden Grove 1. But underneath here I have one of the white appliques that had the silver rhinestones. You can kind of see it right here. And then underneath this white flower I took one of the white um, uh, rosettes from the rosette trim and I cut it out and it's layered underneath there. And these are also from Miss Garden Grove 1 right here. These are so, so cute. And I took some white paint and I just rubbed it on top. And then this is the piece that looks like, um, what I said looks like pink cherries or something that I cut out from the trim. Super, super, super cute. And that's also up here. 
and yeah so it's just up there and up here and then this is some more of the white applique that I have cut up and then this trim right here this is also from Miss Garden Grove 1 and I didn't do anything to it I just laid it on top of the frame and I layered stuff on top this piece right here this always is from Heidi Swap and I got that from my friend Roxy thank you so much Roxy super super cute I love Heidi Swap's products and then all around here is my handmade flowers and this this um, acrylic flower is also from Miss Garden Grove 1 and I have some more of the white applique right here that I cut up that flower right there then I have some beads here and there's another one of these blue flowers from Miss Garden Grove 1 then underneath everything I have some cheesecloth and then there's some of this iridescent um, glittered uh, tool that I got from Roxy and let me see I think that's it for this one and then all around here on the outside I use this trim so that's the white rosette one and it goes along like this and then when you turn it this way I use the pink color in that same style of the trim so this is my first project I hope you guys like it and let me share with you guys my second one so this is my second project that I altered and it's a paper mache house so this is what the front looks like and here's the top and here's the side and this is the back of it and the other side and the bottom is just plain white so for the front of this one I use the blue applique that's in the back here you can kind of see it right there and then all along down here and then this is some of the pink trim that's from Miss Garden Grove one and then also this right here is one of the beautiful little white flowers and these are the paper flowers, the two-tone. That's from Miss Garden Grove 1. And then another one of the white flowers like that. And another one is up here. And then I have some of these. I believe these are clay roses. I think she made these herself. They look so, so pretty, Annie. These are so cute. So that is what that looks like there. Then I have some more beads up here and down here. And over here on the side. And then this one is the pink flower that comes in that trim, that rosette trim. So I just cut one of those off and I stuck it in there like that. Then underneath here I have some more tool, the iridescent tool from Roxy and then some cheesecloth. And so yeah, that's the front. And um, what I did for the paper mache box, I actually painted it, the entire thing white with um, folk art paint. I think it's called antique white. And then I took some of the Heidi Swap paper that I got from Roxy again. Thank you so much, Roxy. And I covered the entire thing with that. And it's super, super pretty. I love the colors. It went perfectly with the colors in the um, kit that Annie gave me. And so here's the top part. And um, I used a stencil again from Saw Crafters, the um, script uh, stencil. And then this polka dot stencil is from Walmart. And then this is one of the white bows that came with Annie's kit and then I added a little pearl on top and then you can also see a bunch of splatters in like random places super super cute so here's the side I have some more of the um, that polka dot uh, stencil and I did some paint splatters here and here's the back here's the top part some more of the stencil and then the script stencil from Saw Crafters and here is um, some of my handmade flowers Then this is that adorable piece that has the heart and the um, angel wings isn't that super cute I took some um, stickles and I put some glitter over that and then there's some more of the paper flowers the two-tone and some more beads and there's three more of these white flowers here so one here and there and also down here and then this is some of the blue trim that I have kind of looking like a spray and then this is some of the pink applique that I cut up and I have down here and this is another piece of that I just cut that out and then I have some more 
cute little paper flowers down here. I believe this is the punch that you gave me, Roxy. Thank you so much. This is super, super cute. I love that punch. And then I have some trim underneath here, but I'm not sure if you guys can see that. There you go. That silver and bluish tone kind of trim that's down in there. And so this is what it looks like. Oh, and then there's some more of these um roses here. Super pretty. And then these pieces are from Heidi Swap, and I got that from Roxy. And then underneath here I have some more of the cheesecloth and the um, iridescent glitter trim. And so what I did in the inside, I painted up the inside too, and then I covered this all these sides with some um, white cardstock. And then for the inside of the house, I painted these two sides white and then I covered this with the Heidi Swap paper and then I added one of the cute, cute, adorable bows from um, Miss Garden Grove One's Etsy shop. It's super pretty. It kind of reminds me of like the Hello Kitty bows, you know. Super, super cute. So yeah, I hope you guys like my projects and if you haven't checked out Annie's amazing, gorgeous, gorgeous shop on Etsy, please, please do. I'll leave all the links in the description box below. And um, I hope you guys have a great, great day, and I'll talk to you guys later.